Thank you, Sandy. Ten years ago today, the winningest coach in Indiana basketball history was fired. IPFW head basketball coach Dane Fife was on Bob Knight's team back then. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper spoke with Dane today, and how does he remember what happened? Well, certainly it was a big day in his life. It's one of the biggest sports firings in history. So today I talked to Dane Fife about how he got the news and what he said tonight on that final day. 661 wins, 11 Big Ten titles, three national championships, but none of it was enough. Ten years ago today, the general marched out of Bloomington. IPFW basketball coach Dane Fife vividly remembers the day Bob Knight was fired. Fife was on his team. I was actually in bed, and my roommate Tom Geyer came in and said, you know, ESPN or one of those one of those news stations um, said, hey, uh, rumor has it, Coach Knight's going to be fired today. Over the years, Knight was accused of throwing a coach out of a chair, choking a player, and grabbing a student. So his firing came as no surprise to Fife, but it was still hard to believe. He and his teammates had a final meeting with their coach later that night. It's a meeting that's rarely talked about. I know I hugged him. I, I, I think I was, uh, I probably said the most, just how much I appreciated him. And, you know, at one point, coach left the room and went in the bathroom to try to regroup because I think he understood, you know, how important he was to us. And, and uh you know, maybe a neat little feeling of guilt that he let us down. The day after Knight's firing, thousands of students gathered in the heart of campus to hear him talk one final time. Wish myself and my family the very best as I wish you the very best. Fife did tell me he threatened to transfer if IU didn't keep the rest of its coaching staff that year. It did, and that team two years later played for the national championship. Well, has IU's new athletic director reached out at all tonight? He has. They've uh, had some informal meetings together. I don't think Knight has totally warmed up to it yet, but Fife does think it'll happen sometime soon. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much, Chris.